Hello, I'm Parker Jones, and I'll be playing the role of Galahad. My name is Isaac Edmund, and I'll be playing the role of King Arthur. My name is Jorah Ostrand, and I'll be playing the role of Lancelot. And the title of our selection is... King Arthur at the Battlefield! By Jill Kelly. Alright, um, you guys in the shiny armor, go take those guys in red. And you guys in the muddy armor, go get cleaned up. I refuse to fight a dirty war. Friends, what is wrong with these people? Sir, you just ordered our knights to attack our own troops. You mean the guys in red? I thought they were Spanish. <laughs> no, sir. We aren't even fighting the Spanish right now. We are fighting the troops in blue, and they are French. French? Are you sure? Yes, sir. See the flag, sir? Ah, oh, yes. A leopard and a stallion with cross swords on a square shield, all on a field of crimson. Exactly. That is the French battle flag, sir. The Spanish battle flag is a leopard and a stallion with cross swords over a square shield, all on a field of scarlet. A completely different combination altogether. Oh, yes, but, um, why are we fighting them again? They invaded our southern border, sir. They robbed the local village and set fire to the goods at the pottery factory. So so they pillaged the village and burned the urns! Yes, sir! The barbarians! And you're sure they're French? Sounds like something the Spanish would do if you ask me. No, sir. They're definitely French. Maybe... American? <laughs> Those guys can be very sneaky, you know. Impossible, sir. You dare to question me?! Why do you say this is impossible?! Yeah! Well, uh, America hasn't been discovered yet, sir. Very well then. Sorry about the temper there. These Spanish always make me feel uptight. French! French fries? What are you babbling about, Lance? The enemy are French, Your Majesty. You call them Spanish once again. And you're sure they're not French? Quite. Do you think the king is well? Well, maybe the stress is getting to him with all the news he had to have received it by now. He's no relation to Do you think he's even heard? Well, Let's try to slip into the conversation when it gets done directing the news. Okay, here it comes. Blasted all those sneaky Spaniards! French! Whoever they are, they're attempting to flank us to the south! What are your orders, my lady? Um, it's possible, sir. You dare to question me? Again? Why do you say this is impossible? Yes, you demand to know. I have already said that I have no child, and of course he is not here. I want him brought to me now. But, sir, the child has arrived for another seven months, eight at most. But it only took us three days to come here with the whole army. Why does it take so long to bring in one? Mommy and Daddy are in love. 
You know, just Merlin. Enough up. already! <sighs> Here is my decree, Galahad. When this child arrives in seven or eight. Alright. When this child arrives in seven or eight months, I want him brought to the courtyard of the castle to stand trial and execution for high crimes against the king. But sire, it, it's only a child. Treachery has no age. But what? Have no charge. Run! The enemy are upon us! 